What impact would Lonzo have on the Lakers? Because they clearly need some help. Man, Lonzo had that same impact Magic had. Oh, God. I'm trying to tell you. Uh, yeah. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know. Magic is running the Lakers, and if Lonzo is available, you wow. better believe he's going to pick him. Wow. Oh, my God. Did you just... Did you just hear what that man said? He said that he's better than Magic. No way. He said he put him on the Lakers. No, he's winning chips. He's winning them. Lonzo with the Lakers. Ben Ingram, D'Angelo Russell. All right, so you know me. I'm about to put Lonzo Ball on the Lakers. Get him drafted there. I'm going to see how he's going to do the next 10 years with this team, this franchise. Can he turn around or is he going to make it worse? Okay, so we're doing the fucking draft. 2018, number one pick, Bonzo Ball, UCL Bruin, 6'6", 190. Yo, I'm so fucking stoked because, like, tomorrow's UCLA, Kentucky, man. And they put him as a 78. Why does it look so ugly? You know, you know uh, he looks ugly in this game. 20 points a game, 14 assists. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so here's his uh, overall in the first season. He's a 90, 79 overall. He's not going to be starting his first season as the, uh, you know some other players. But remember, this is beginning first year. People have to progress and go out. So this is like, you know, gives potential and everything. That's all the badges to begin with and everything like that. Not too many things because he's just beginning, as I said. And, uh, we're gonna get in this. Uh, so the end of the year is coming up in the first season, and the Lakers are getting over 40 games, looking to make a playoff spot, third in the conference. Not gonna go now, a little bit loosen, but you know what? Lonzo Ball is gonna try to bring up this uh, Tyler Celtics record for most championships as they end the season. I will see LeBron's the MVP, Josh Jackson. Okay, he's the rookie of the year, not Lonzo Ball. Oh, Lonzo Ball is the sixth man of the year. Okay, so I said he wasn't starting, but now I know that he's the sixth man of the year. So that means that's good things for them. Good things for them. Uh, so, you know, it's gonna be hard. You know, the league is right now with all these uh, young guys. That, uh, not really young guys right now, but like, you know, some veterans. As long as the ball makes the all rookie first team, and they make the playoffs as an eight seed, and they're gonna have Denver. Surprisingly, I guess. I don't. I don't really know. To be honest with you, I'm looking for. I'm trying to look for the Warriors right now. Where are the fucking Warriors? They're not in the playoffs. I don't know. They're a couple games behind. All right. Well, don't know how that happened. But you still got Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball's making an impact. He's already an 80 overall. One of one overall. So see if they can win a playoff game or a playoff series. And they're already going to get swept. Okay. So not the year. Not the year for Lonzo to begin his rookie season. I don't know what LeVar is going to say once he gets to the NBA about his rookie season. But on 2K, he's getting swept in the first round. But the Lakers, the Lakers made the playoffs. Something that hasn't happened as the Cavs win LeBron. Gets his uh, fourth ring right there. And Lonzo Ball right in his second season is at 82 overall. 10 badges now. He's with Wayne Ellington, Larry Nance, D'Angelo Russell, Brandon Ingram. They're actually looking like a stellar team. I'm not going to lie. Um, looking pretty good right now. Uh, you know, they had a solid good season. Now they're ending the season this time doing pretty well. I would say they're doing a little bit better than last year. Um, as you see, they're winning some games to end the year. Uh, 41 over 41 games this year. Um, I just want to say you. Um, I honestly like want to talk about Lavar. Like he's actually like the goat for what he says. Like I honestly fucking love it. Like, but like some things are stupid. Like don't get in Lebron. Don't get into this fucking kid. Dude. Like the Jordan Barkley show was stupid as. Uh, you know, I don't know. I just don't agree with that. And here are the season of wars after year two. What Michael Porter Jr. Okay, Michael Porter Jr. And then Marco Fultz is six man of the year. Some some rookie action as we see. Oh, another. Did I see R Miles Bridges back there? Wow. Uh, nobody really makes that first NBA team. As you see, Michael Porter was on the second NBA team. Uh, uh, nothing really. Michael Porter right there. I don't know. He's doing good, I guess. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Doing good. As the Lakers are back in the playoffs once again. Mon Onzo Ball looks like he's making the people around him better. I see averages here 14 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, solid in his second season in the NBA. Let me know, that's your second season in the NBA? That's good. That's good. Is they going to get that 6 seed against the Trailblazers with Damian Lillard? Is they going to try to get the first playoff win? Ever they get the playoff win, they might have oh, another loss in the first round, man. Another loss in the first round, not looking good for the Lakers. Uh, but you know what? They're making, they're improving. Lonzo Ball is one of those players that has to develop. Actually, no, he's not one of those players that can He's one of those players that can come to the league. But I guess 2 guys says that. But the Trailblazers end up winning the championship right here with Damian Lillard averaging fucking B 
beastly number right there. Being in Chicago, surprising. Uh, oh man, third season Lonzo Ball's an 88 overall. Holy shit. Holy shit, he's an 88 up. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy that. Uh, if you're wondering, I would pre record this, so I'm like, you know, just watching over what I did before. So, uh, I'm getting into the third season, you know, they're 40, they're doing, they're about to hit 50 wins on the season. 50, bro. Right here, they get 50 wins on the season. The new Los, the new Los Angeles Lakers are fucking like, showing some signs of greatness. Like, maybe the old era. Maybe. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? Damon Lillard is blowing up in this thing. And look at this! Bro, LeAngelo Ball, his brother, is the rookie of the year. I completely forgot about him. Completely forgot about him. That's insane. His brother's the rookie of the year. Like, Banjo Ball, that's awesome, dude. That's, that's pretty cool as shit. Um, you know, the same thing as uh, Mar Markel Fultz fucking again. Oh, look at Lonzo Ball, third uh, NBA all team. Pretty cool to see that. LeAngelo Ball makes the whole rookie team, man. So, I wonder if they could team up in the future. We'll see in this video, man. We'll see in this video. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, we got the Lakers, uh, fucking second seed. You know, that's pretty dope as shit. Not gonna lie. They get in the fucking racks up. Lonzo Ball with 17 points a game. And uh, DeAndre Russell's doing pretty good. Same with Brandon Avery. It's not, it's not shabby. So, this is the third season he's into. Trying to get a playoff series win. As they're looking. Oh, they're looking amazing right now. Oh, they just swept the Mavericks. Oh, they got against the Timberwolves now. All right, a little action, though. A little action. Okay, they win the first game. Okay. Similarly, like that in the second game. They're going to go back-to-back -back sweep. Nope. But, like, honestly, the Lakers, yo, they're looking nice right now. They're looking nice. Oh, shit. Game seven. Fuck. All right. Got that W. Sweating through that shit. But now we're going up against the Trailblazers, who we lost to last year, and who have a future at the reigning MVP and NBA championship under their belt. And, damn. Fuck. They... Wow, can we come back? We come Man, the fucking Trailblazers, bro. But what? Dude, the fucking magic while I'm asleep, bro. The magic? The magic? Like, what? Like, looking at that team, Wilson Chandler, Evan Fournier, like, the fuck? Man, that shit's crazy, but, uh, let's get into the fourth season right here. It's a 91 overall. And look who joined the squad, Andre fucking Drummond right there. Joins the squad to show him what it's about. Now this might be some. This might be something. As you see, they have almost 60 wins coming into his fourth season, wrapping up it. Almost 60 fucking wins. Three more wins from 60. They're not gonna get it though. Not gonna get it. But still now standing. Also ball to fucking MVP of the league, yo. He's the MVP most valuable player. Levar and where's Steph Curry? Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found, so he might be right if according to 2K fucking shit. And Dennis Smith sounds familiar, and Coach Luke Wallen's player of the year. That's awesome, man. He's first team All NBA. Anthony Davis, Marco Fultz in there, Dennis Smith, this guy named Nick Johnson. I don't know. I someone if you tell me who that is, I don't know if it's auto generator or what. But look at the first seed in the West. Oh my God, this might be the year for the Lakers to win a championship. Yo, might be the word. 92 overall. Um, uh, they go in the playoffs, bro. Let's see what we get. First round against the Nuggets. Looking good. Looking a little shabby, you know. Yeah, but we still take the W game past the Nuggets. Now we're playing the OKC Thunder. You know, last year we came off the Western Finals loss, and it was kind of like, it was kind of disheartening. So now we're trying to bounce back as we're in this series. 3 to 2. This could be getting back to back Western Conference Finals. Back to back Western Conference Finals for the Lakers and Lonzo Ball. Also with Andre Drummond. Let's see what we do here. And uh the Jazz have a good good team right now. They're a solid team and damn, bro. They Alright. Or 2 2. We're gonna come back from this. We're gonna come back. Nope, nope. Alright, 3 3, game seven, bro. Oh my gosh, the fucking Jazz beat the Lakers. And the Jazz win. So that's back to back. Western Conference Finals loss. That sucks. It's a bullshit. Bro. Damn, bro. That shit really just happened. So year five. Year five. Still got Andre Drummond. Still got Lonzo Ball, who is 93. He's performed to one of the best ever. Hasn't missed a game his whole entire career. That's something Lavar Ball preaches about. The winning mentality. And as you see, this is a good all-star accolade and everything like that. 
And you know what's funny? Look at this shit. You go to the Hornets. Lamelo Ball, but what? He's not, bro. That doesn't look like Lamelo Ball, yo. That's crazy. That does not look like Lamelo Ball, but like he's in the NBA. The Ball Brothers, all three of them are in the NBA. BBB, Big Baller Brands, with it. And look at this, man. Back to 50 wins. Maybe on their way to a first seed again. You don't know. We're gonna find out, but uh. Nick Johnson, I don't know, I told you, this guy's blowing up the league right now, uh, 33 points a game, then you got Lionel Macklin, don't know who that is, uh, Nick Johnson, again, I'm telling you, Josh Jackson, we've never heard of him before, and Tyron Liu of the Jazz, who just won the finals, and Lonzo Ball, still NBA first, and with Markel Fultz and Miles Bridges, the young guys taking over, the air is not, is looking good, that's what I'm trying to say. And here we go. They get the second seed against the Nuggets again. We had some previous good luck last year against the Nuggets, beating them four to two. And what? They beat us in the first round as a two seed. Man, I don't know what's about Lonzo Ball and missing, losing the playoffs, man. You gotta do something. Like, wow, Michael Porter Jr. won the championship. Michael Porter Jr. won before Lonzo Ball. I don't think that's gonna happen in real life. Just being 100 with you guys, don't think that's gonna happen. Don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. So look at this, man. This is the last chance. Lonzo Ball, Nick Johnson, and the Angel Ball, his fucking brother. The big three right here. The big three. This is what they want to do. This is like the prime. This is what. Like, they're literally the tying the best record in the NBA right now. Look at three more games away. They just tied the Warriors' greatest of all times regular season record. This team is no fucking mess. Nick Johnson, number MVP. They average like 150 points per game, bro. They come in nine losses on the season. Luke Wallen, dude, this is Lonzo Ball's time. As you see, two Lakers in all NBA team. Lonzo Ball. We're gonna look at the stats actually right now. Lonzo Ball averaged 30 points a game. Seven rebounds and seven assists, and Leandro Ball's at number 13 and eight rebounds. The Ball Brother future, bro. So this is gonna be the fucking playoffs. Bro. They haven't won in forever. They've made it to the finals, Western Finals. They've lost. They've lost in every year, and as they begin a sweep, continuing that regular season starter. And. Take one loss there, but they in the Western Conference Finals against the Jazz. This is a rematch of last time. Getting our revenge. Oh, shit. We down. Fuck no, bro. Oh, my God. Brother. Oh, shit. We're going to go game seven. Let's fucking go, baby. We're in the playoffs. Finals against the Miami Heat. Some game by game. By game. One up. One one tie. This could be the ball area. Future right here, bro. Two two. It's not okay. One game away. One game away. Let's go to simulate with Simcast. Go down to that. One game away from the future of the Lonzo Ball winning a championship for the Los Angeles Lakers in a matter of years. 15. Losing the first quarter. <sighs> now they're catching, you know, they catching a little, little run right there. A little run to end the second quarter. Yo, the, the Lakers. The Lakers are out in front, yo. The Lakers are about to win. About to win, yo. NBA Finals champions, yo. It happened. It happened. If you guys enjoy this video, I'm going to continue another five more years, and I will post a video of that. Five more years of what's gonna happen, because I'm only in 2023. If you guys really like this video, I'm gonna go ten more years. Ten more years, I'll say that. How Lonzo Ball does. He's a 94 overall in this prime, 25 years old. You guys better like this video if you want to see that. NBA champion. The big three has evolved. How many more years have they got? I don't know, man, but that fucking first take interview there with Stephen A. Smith and Lonzo Ball. Lavar. Oh my god, I'm fucking pumped about that. That was awesome. I love that shit. But I'm look at his stats and everything. His bad just went from 10 to 21. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you enjoyed, like the video, and we out to me. Halftime production.